Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking stats and metrics from my 24 hour ride at the one. <laughs> also, I'm at Disney World, so you're gonna see some stuff in the background and I promise there'll be a vlog to follow. So let's talk about the easy metrics. First off, I got 15,099 words written in 24 hours, but there were three hours where I uh, didn't write anything. <laughs> That's a good question, Mom. I read books. <laughs> like I just told my mom, if y'all watch the vlog, you'll know that I got distracted, mostly by books. My highest word count hour of the challenge was hour 17 with 1,735 words written. I do want to go ahead and stop now and mention that I can write more words than that if I'm like really feeling it, if I've already plotted out exactly what I'm going to write. Oh, I can occasionally I get about 1500 words in 20 minutes, but y'all, hour 17, that was just not going to happen <laughs> or any of the rest of the day, apparently. <laughs> Maybe I was just pacing myself because y'all, 24 hours. But also I didn't know the story that well, which now I'm starting to think because of how well I did that I overplot. I've thought about this before, but that's not the point. I've mentioned in other videos that this story really just seemed to come to me within the past month. I actually got the idea and I wrote down like two sentences to explain the idea back in July's Camp NaNoWriMo and then I put it away because that could not be my focus. But now, it came back just roaring and ready to go. All of a sudden, I don't know why I've made like two videos about this now, <laughs> because it's confusing. So to that end, and with the story just demanding to be written, 94.78% of the words that I wrote were for this story, and 23 of the 24 hours were dedicated to it. For word counts specifically, I also did well in hours 7, 1, 21, and 16, which I think just means that I was kind of all over the place. It was kind of flowing on and off, and I think that's pretty obvious if you watch the vlog. <laughs> My mind was just everywhere. It's going up. Now let's move on to my final stats that I think are interesting in order to answer the question, should you do this? I will make a couple comments first. One, y'all know I like challenges. And two, go back to the part where I said that this was a bad idea and then immediately wanted to do again and then was like, no, never. Call me an idiot if I do. Just rewatch it. Point three. I'm telling you why the heck not try it if you want to try it. But to that end for the stats, point four is that I didn't write for two days after this, not creatively, for two whole days. I was wiped. And that first day was just, you know, recovery day. So I was reading, I was watching TV, I was eating and a whole lot of sleeping. Those cicadas loud. However, I've said before that I think for creatively, just for my own personal writing, not work writing, I get about 2,500 words a day average over the month, which means that 15,099 words divided by three is 5,033 words for those three days. So even though I didn't write two of the days, it averaged out to be way more words, double the amount of words I usually get. So uh, the answer to the question, should you do this? Is yes. Try it, it's fun. You may regret it, but probably you won't. It's good to attempt. Mom, would you ever do a 24 hour ride a Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> My mom approves, so y'all should do it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all soon with a new video. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. Oh, I did the wave later. For word counts specifically, I also did well in seven. Dang it. Now let's move on to my final stats of 